Can she look much worse? And yes, the answer is yes. I ate two pickles. I looked much worse. <laughs> and Raphael has the same kind of hairdo as I do this morning. Hi. This. Hi. I give it to her. Give well, it to her. Did a little bit. Let's get all those kitties. Okay, well. Kitty is having a great time. All these windows, these new things to crawl around. Uh, the internet guy just got here and he fixed it. I actually haven't really even looked at my hair. And we don't have a hairbrush because I can't find it. Um, I'm sure it's in the bathroom, in the box in the bathroom. So. I didn't see one in the box in the bathroom. Okay, I? honey. I got a box of... Where am I pointing? <laughs> um... Uh, home stuff, tea. you know. Go to brush my teeth. And I got the bathroom then, stuff. Please, I gotta brush up. my teeth. I you already you brushed your teeth. No, oh. the toothbrush is out with toothpaste. Why didn't you brush it? Because you told me to do stuff. Oh. So I unboxed a whole bunch of stuff this morning, and I got. I made a big space in their bedroom, so they could play a little bit. While this this whole house is like tore up and not kid friendly at all, I also rearranged the kitchen a little bit. Wow, I like the food cabinet just right there. Yeah, and uh, Daddy put the screws uh, uh, in. Uh, we have drywall. We don't have concrete walls anymore, so we need different uh, anchors. So he's got one anchored in the corner here. So that was enough for us to put the um thing but we're gonna go get special you know things um this is where the island is going to sit and i have my jars up here right now girl Be but i am organizing these in the cabinets down below but this is how our kitchen's gonna look and we're gonna have two chairs here and it's it's not a tight tight squeeze but it's a it's kind of a tight squeeze but it's good Living room's gonna be right here, and here's where the TV's gonna go, and he's got the best of sitting up here already. You know what, and we're fixing to go patch holes in the other house. We're eating salad. Daddy stopped and got salad for everyone. I don't think any of these stickers can be saved. This one's a really special one. Have you ever heard a baby cry in an echoey room? That's my brain on baby echoey rooms. So, I know. I have finished patching the walls everywhere so I'm going to start painting the trim on the bottom white because we have to make the house white again so I've done this in every single room daddy has to come home and do the the ones that are next to the ceiling again um, there's like six holes but I can reach up there I just can't reach to the ceiling so um, yeah Whew. Got to paint now. So he can get on the ladder because my knee 
is done. It's very echoey in here, so it's hard to hear. Because there's nothing in here. Look at all this. I had to like resurface the wall for the stickers. So that's all dry, but these are not like the holes. This is where the the um, exponent was, and we put it to the wall. So. Here comes the kill. Yeah. Did some work in here. Hi, you got your water? Hey. Hey. Oh, thank you. I have my water. I want to tell you something. What? Can you back up? Because you're like right in my face and I can't move. Okay. What? What do you want to tell me? I want to tell you that something happened a long, long time ago. A car accident. Yeah, we got in a car accident, didn't we? Two people hit. Yeah. Us and him. Yeah. Okay, we weren't able to finish it. We're so tired and Abigail's done. But we did all of the trim. That Daddy did the top and I did the bottom in every single room. So we are going to come back tomorrow and finish. I decided to let Raphael go down by himself, get the key from Daddy, and come back up by himself. This is the first time I've ever done this, and this will be the last time because we won't be in an elevator anymore in a house that has an elevator ever again. <laughs> Let's see if he did it. Did you do it all by yourself? Wow, that's so good, Raffi. I'm proud of you. I just took so long, but I did it fast. Thank you. Now we can leave. Okay. Every time we turn it on, I look worse. I told you, it can get worse. Um, I have a cold, and I, I, I got a cold the day before we moved, and then I thought maybe I was having some allergies, but yeah, it's it's a cold. Um, put the camera to me. Too bad. Closer. So Daddy has to deposit some money in the bank, so we're look, here waiting on look, that. Look at Abigail. I can't. It's too dark in here. Okay, well, we're fixing to go home, take a shower, and Daddy is going to set up the... Money! Yeah, he's depositing it. Uh, he's going to set up the Besta so we can have TV, but first he's going to set up the computer desk because I need to get my videos going. That guy's so close to me. It's a... It was a tour bus, yeah. That was Hadar. Yellow! Orange! Scary a little bit. <laughs> that was a scary. Well, this guy, he came real close to hitting me, and I was like, dang, that's close, and then you hit me in the side. So I was like, yeah, figures! <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go home now. We, we, um... Oh, I wanted to say we had the most excellent movers yesterday. They did a really good job. They all worked very hard. Non-stop. Yeah. And they didn't break any of our stuff at all. And they didn't scratch our fridge or dent our fridge. They took very good care of us. However, he did charge us twice as much because he underestimated how much it would cost. So... Yeah. My only prerequisite before I even knew him, I talked to him on the phone, I said, do not come here surprised. Don't yeah. be surprised. I told him what I got. I told him what needs to go downstairs with uh, manual labor. Yeah. So, like the couch, because couch doesn't fit in the elevator. Yeah, and I told him I have a lot of heavy weights, and I told him I have this, 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 and that, you know. <laughs> Basically, I told him what I got. So he brings a <laughs> six meter truck. Was it six meter? I'm not asking Abigail. <laughs> He brought a six meter truck and our stuff literally didn't fit in it. So yeah, you need to get two. they took two trips to from Arad to Beersheba. It's 40 minutes each way. Very unfortunate. Yeah, so they did work hard and we tipped them a lot. 
the, there was five uh, guys. If, uh, basically, if they were the other people, we would. Oh, have made I wouldn't it have given day. them a tip because those people took 13 we hours. Have made it in one day. 13 hours to move us, These and they sat for most of that time. Eight hours total, from very start to very finish. Eight hours. Yeah, and that was with Two going trips. back and forth. So yeah, they going did back and really forth good. Is about an hour and a half each way, like. It, Ooh, uh, twice. Why is it so going so fast? three hours were wasted literally just on driving. Yeah. Yeah. So. And they they worked like I didn't see them rest. They did not rest. At all. Their rest was the one thing we When they drove, drove yeah. yeah. They didn't stop to go eat like the mother people did. They they, all they seemed went to be over out 40. to eat. <laughs> they went out to eat and ate at a restaurant. The youngest one was like thirty five. Yeah, they're they're workers. Um, and they did a really good job. So they did get a big tip and they were so, <coughs> hey, no they were scratch, so, <coughs> when he gave them the tip, you can hear that they were like really, yeah, they were shocked, yeah. shocked that that happened because I guess they don't get tipped. I, they probably do, but I, I certainly said that you guys basically charged me double, you ain't get nothing. <laughs> basically is what I said. Cause they yeah. Did, not double, almost double. Well, yeah, at the beginning we were like, uh, excuse, no, excuse us, because <laughs> they're gonna, they charge us yeah, double. Well, really. We have a deadline. The other guy. Yeah. So when they they got it, they were like, oh, if you need anything, you call me. Literally. Yeah. yeah. And I took the owner's son back to where he needed. Love you, mommy. Oh, that's what that was. The son. Yeah, his son. Oh, okay. Which is the youngest one. He's 35. Yeah. Yeah, because he was talking about 9/11, yeah. how he was in the states. He looks oh. like he's looks like he's my age, but he was in the states and he was working, doing labor, manual labor work. Wow, after the 9/11. At 9/11. Love you, mommy. Wow. So you heard it on radio, happening. Yeah. Love you too, honey. Love you, daddy. We're fixing to go Love home. Too, home. Yeah, our new home. Isn't that weird? Bye, bye, see ya later. <laughs> bye, bye, see ya. <laughs> yeah, we're Yay, we're bye extremely bye. tired, but we're gonna go home and, and work at our own house now. You gotta work. Gotta work. work. Yeah. It's okay to be tired. We'll get a rest when uh not when we're dead, but uh <laughs> yeah, yeah, he when he goes back to work we'll get a rest. The only safe place to rest is the grave. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah. Safe. Sometimes it's not safe. I would work tomorrow, you Daddy. Anyway, so it is safe. No, he's not. He's staying um, home. I will work. We're gonna oh. work at the house, yes. So how do you like Woo! living in the city? You're living in yeah. a neighborhood right now, but you're living in the city. I don't mind living in a neighborhood for right now because it, it is Israel Yay, and you really can't live like you can't get land and live in Israel really. I mean Let me just say that Andrea comes from the woods. Yeah. Ocala, Florida, so the woods. Yeah. And one person every three acre, five acres, one person, one family. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't live like that here. I mean, it's very rare. I'm sure you can, like if you buy a yeah. lot of land in a Moshav or There's something. So you can do it. Yeah, but it's not like people just, they live together here. Yeah, neighborhoods. Yeah. And sometimes, like, right on top of each other, like, literally. And. They don't get, you know, any space to themselves. Yeah. So it's a lot of people First in a very we small ever space. On the phone, they were building a neighborhood on top of my neighborhood. Yes. So jackhammering all day. So I night. heard it all day and all night because Hadar and I are on the phone at night, and her night. <coughs> yeah, my night, his morning, <laughs> when they started working, and then he would have to sleep through that during his day. So yeah, that was crazy. Well, town is definitely easier. Yeah. The only bad thing is driving through town. It's not like a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> those are both not safe. Wow! Well, look, look at me. I have red lights on me. I I look so bad right now. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, I, I got, got to tell you something, mommy. Oh well, it doesn't matter, does it? What's I got, got me. I got me you? a good look in the husband. And What's he got to tell you? Two beautiful babies back here, and one at the states. You're good. 
What's he got? I'm not a baby, I'm a boy. A big boy. You're my baby, don't say that. You're her baby forever. That's right. She's your mama and you're her baby. Oh, my I'm kids are baby. my babies. Abigail's a baby and I'm a brother. Okay. Rafael? Big brother baby. Are pups babies? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, pups are doggies. <laughs> and mommy is mama bear. Whoa. Mommy is only a mommy. Did you see that guy? He was going to walk out in the middle of the road. Rafael? Mommy is only a mommy. Mommy is not your mama bear? Mommies can't be anything other than mommies. Did you know that? Yeah. I, I don't have any hopes and dreams for myself. Just a mommy. Yeah. Right? Uh, you have uh, 17 years. I'm young, so Abby. I started really yeah. early. <laughs> yeah, you did. Abigail's my baby bear. Yeah, she is. Can't see her though. Briar bear. She's in the darkness. And I'm in the morningness. Speaking of light and dark, it is mighty dark for me to work on the lights. I think I'll do maybe the computers tonight. You must do the computers. Morning. Like you have no choice. Yeah, if you I've given you no this, choice. You're about a week late. Uh, late. no. The videos are not that delayed now because I have oh, well, not vlogged. I haven't uploaded in two days either. That's right. <laughs> so you got to get on the computers now. All right. Well, that's enough of no lighting. Let's show the house. I know. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. Today's moving day. Does it have donuts right now because it's Hanukkah? These people are very nice here. We're finally on our way. No, but in English, not meow. He's calling meow. This is the nonsense. Oh no! I unboxed everything.